Questions 1 through 10 on the 2009 Grade 8 AMC 8. Bridget bought a bag of apples at the grocery store. She gave half of the apples to Anne. Then she gave Cassie three apples, keeping four apples for herself. How many apples did Bridget buy? Let's say she bought X apples. Then what she does is she gives half of them to Anne. And then that means she keeps half. And then from the half that she keeps, she gives three of those to Cassie. So that means she has remaining x minus 2 divided by 3. And they're saying that this is equal to 4. So now we just have to solve for this. x over 2 is equal to 7, and therefore x is equal to 14. So number 1, the answer is E. On average, for every four sports cars sold at a local car dealership, seven sedans are sold. The dealership predicts that it will sell 28 sports cars next month. How many sedans does it expect to sell? We have a ratio here of four sports cars to seven sedans. And we apply the same ratio with 28 sports cars. And we don't know the number of sedans. That's what we have to figure out. So cross multiply, 4x is equal to 7 times 28, and therefore x is equal to 7. 28 divided by 4 is 7, so that means x is equal to 7 times 7, which is 49. So the dealership expects to sell 49 sedans if the ratio is the same. So number 2, the answer is D. The graph shows the constant rate at which Susanna rides her bike. If she rides a total of half an hour at the same speed, how many miles will she have ridden? You can use any of these. I'll just use 5 and 1. That means 1 mile is covered in 5 minutes. I'll just write that in. 1 mile, 5 minutes. So the same ratio, since it's constant speed, will apply for half an hour which is 30 minutes so x miles over 30 minutes like that cross multiply and you get 5x is equal to 30 and therefore x is equal to 30 divided by 5 which is 6 so 6 miles is how long how far she will um, ride in half an hour so the answer for number 3 is C The five pieces shown at right can be arranged to form four of the five figures below. Which figure cannot be formed? The key to this question is to look at this shape right here. It's five pieces, right? Five little pieces. And five little pieces must be placed somewhere. Okay, for A, it can be placed there. For C, it can be placed here. For D, it could be placed here. And for E, it can be placed here. But for B, there's nowhere that you can see that the five uh, unit piece goes. It would have to be chopped, and that's not allowed, obviously. So B cannot be made for number four. A sequence of numbers starts with one, two, and three. The fourth number of the sequence is the sum of the previous three numbers in the sequence. One plus two plus three is equal to six. In the same way, every number after the fourth is the sum of the previous three numbers. What is the eighth number in the sequence? The first number is a 1, then a 2, then a 3, and then a 6. And how you get the next number is by adding the previous three. So 2 plus 3 plus 6 is 11. How do you get the next number? You add the previous three. So 3 plus 6 plus 11 is 20 and so on the next number will be the sum of previous three so 6 plus 11 17 17 plus 20 37 and then finally the eighth number which is what they want sum of the previous three which is 11 plus 20 31 31 plus 37 is 68 so therefore number five the answer is D Steve's empty swimming pool will hold 24,000 gallons of water when full. It will be filled by 
filled by four hoses, each of which supplies 2.5 gallons of water per minute, how many hours will it take to fill Steve's pool? 10 gallons per minute is how much water will go in. Why? Because there's four hoses and each of them is 2.5. So you have to multiply 4 times 2.5 to get that 10. And then 24,000 gallons, therefore, divided by 10 gallons per minute will give me the amount of time. And this is 2,400 minutes. But they want it in hours, so we have to divide 2,400 minutes by 60 minutes, like that. And if you do, you get 40 hours. And therefore, number six, the answer is A. The triangular plot of land ACD lies between Aspen Road, Brown Road, and a railroad. Main Street runs east-west, and the railroad runs north-south. The numbers in the diagram indicate distance in miles. The width of the railroad track can be ignored. How many square miles are in the plot of land ACD? So ACD can be calculated as the sum, or rather the difference of those two triangles, the first one being the big one, and from that one subtract this triangle. So the first one is 1 half base times height, which is 3 times 6. And then this one here that we have to subtract is 1 half base, which is 3 times height, which is 3. So this basically becomes 9 minus 4.5, and that is equal to 4.5. So number 7, the answer is C. The length of a rectangle is increased by 10%. The width is decreased by 10%. What percentage of the old area is the new area? All right, so initially we had length times width. We can write it as LW. And then now what they're doing is 1.1 times L because it's increased by 10%. And that you multiply by 0 0.9 of W because the width was decreased by 10%. So this 1.1 times 0 0.9 is 0.99 LW. So if you compare 0.99 LW to LW, obviously it's 99%. What percent of the old area, which is LW, is the new area? 99%. So number eight, that would make it choice B. Construct a square on one side of an equilateral triangle. On one non-adjacent side of the square, construct a regular pentagon, as shown. On a non-adjacent side of the pentagon, construct a regular hexagon. Continue to construct regular polygons in the same way until you construct an octagon. How many sides does the resulting polygon have? So, basically what they're saying is that once you get to this point, the next shape you're going to draw is a hexagon. So I'll draw that in. So there you go. There's my hexagon. And then on this hexagon, I have to draw another polygon. So I'll do that. And the next one is going to be a seven-sided polygon. And then now we have to finally construct the octagon, which is eight-sided. So I'll do that. And then now what we have to do is count the number of sides. OK, so this is two. And then we only count the sides, right? So that's another two for the square. For this pentagon, we're going to count one, two, three, right? Because the other sides are, are hidden. They're not part of the polygon. They're not part of the polygon's perimeter. This one here gives me one, two, three, four. And then this one here gives me one, two, three, four, five. And finally, the last one gives me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So now I have to add up these 2, 2, 4, 7, 11, 16, 16 plus 23 is tw 16 plus 7 is 23. I got a little ahead of myself. So number 9, the answer is B. On a checkerboard composed of 64 unit squares, 
what is the probability that a randomly chosen unit square does not touch the outer edge of the board? So the ones that do touch are obviously the ones that are these guys, right? All these guys. I'll just put a little line through them. Those guys touch the outer edge. So all the ones that are in the middle don't. So the ones in the middle are all of these guys. These ones don't touch the outer edge. So how many of them are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's a six by six. So six times six, which is 36, don't touch. And they told you in the question that 64 is a total. So the probability is 36 over 64. And lowest terms, let's say 18 over 32, nine over 16. So number 10, the answer is D.